going up so late and staring out that window. Just thinking. Oh, but you should be in bed after practicing all day long. Come, tell Mama Keys, what are you thinking about? Well, I was just looking out at the lights of the big city and wondering where Bob is. Who oh, he's meeting. Yes, we don't see much of him anymore. Oh, I hope success hasn't gone to his head. Oh, he's not that way. Besides, you can't blame him for staying out a lot. There isn't much excitement for him around here. Yeah. <laughs> Why, honey, child, <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> Here's the joy I get. I'm so happy. He got a break. Yes, and you were responsible for it. Oh, Mama Keith, it was nothing. <laughs> I suppose I should go out and find a job. Now, dear, you have plenty of time for that. But I want to sing and dance. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. The theater again. But off to bed you go, young lady. Who's oh, used to going to bed? Isn't I going to sleep anyhow? Oh, you sleep. <laughs> Can I sit and read a book? No book reading, young lady. And don't forget, you're not too old to be frank. <laughs> I... Declare I have the worst trouble getting my house to bed. Even the great Joseph is up at this hour. Now, there, now. Good night, honey. Good night, Mama G. You are next. Your name, please. Ah. Uh, I don't want to examine your tonsils. What is your name? Oh, my name, uh, Ah uh, Fu. Ah uh, Fu to you. That's it. That's it, my name, Ah Fu. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Are you kidding? I don't get any image. I need another crystal. Sure, that's it, no good. Four, five, six, no good. Even this one. It's no good. My friend, you must have a very big future. Sure. We have big future every day. Big phone life. Very, very good. Mm, yum, yum. Even this one only gives a partial and incomplete image. My friend, do you by any chance own a pawn shop? Sure. We got the big uh, hop shop in Chinatown. You know what the three ball he means? No, what? What does he mean? The uh, two, two? Two, two, one, you know, come back. That's a joke, son. <laughs> How deliciously nice. Oh, it's so warm in here. Let's go on the chair. Yes, it is a little warm in here. Now, doesn't that feel better? Much better. It was too stuffy inside. Yes, it was. You know, Mr. Macmillan, the manager of the Swan Club, is a dear friend of mine. I think I could talk to him. But I wouldn't want to shove Bonnie Ray out. You should think of yourself. After all, I'm thinking of you, too, in this matter. But you hardly know me. And you haven't heard my band. I think I know you well enough. I'm not interested so much in the band. I'm interested in you. I'm certain the Swan Club is a place for you. And I think you can figure on playing there, Robert Jordan. Gee, Barbara, am I glad you're still awake. Have I got lots to tell you? What are you doing? Just looking at your song. I got a lot to tell you about that, too. Gosh, I'm hungry. Is there any food left? I think so. Mama Keys always leaves something. Gee, I'm so excited I can hardly wait. Have you got any milk there? Oh, sure, that's plenty. Well, come on, have a sandwich with me. You'll never guess what happened to me tonight. You see me, because I look good. It's just the way I've always <laughs> dreamed. 
the top spot in town, the Swan Club. Oh, it's marvelous if it's all true. Tell me about it. I met a very influential woman tonight. She's going to arrange everything. But can you imagine a wealthy and beautiful woman falling for me? Why not? You have everything now. Funny how time changes things. A short time ago, I was desperate. And now the whole world's before me. You deserve a break, too, Barbara. Oh, don't worry about me. But it's only because of the song. And wait till I get that royalty check. I'm going to see that you have your share. Oh, I don't expect anything. After all, it's your song. But I couldn't have finished it without you. It takes a woman for that hard interest stuff. That's the way it's going to be. But it's all out of reason, Biggin. Why should we get Bonnie Ray's orchestra out? It's a big draw. In my opinion, Bob Jordan will be bigger. In your opinion? <laughs> That's the laugh. You probably have a yen for it. What if I have? Now listen, Vivian, I'm warning you, you're playing with fire. You're engaged to Ralph Williams. Why is it every new face comes along, you've got to fall like a ton of bricks? Let's get this straight, Mr. Macmillan. I'm the biggest stockholder in this club, and you know why. Because it's my playground. And leave Ralph Williams out of this. But you can't carry water on both shoulders. Now listen, someday Ralph is going to get wise that you're using him for your social ambitions. I'll take my chances on that. Well, it's your money and your funeral. Do as you please. That's what I intend to do. We're putting Bob Jordan and his orchestra in here. Here we are, Matt. Right on time, all ready to sign. Boy, will this be tremendous. A new star, right off the season's biggest song here. Am I a press agent? And how? You know, you're lucky to have a guy like me hanging around the Swan Club. It used to be the Swan Club. We're changing the name to the Cinderella Club. I get it. We feature Bob Jordan's new song here, Cinderella. It's terrific, Miss Marston. A new star in the nightclub heaven. Gee, I, I only hope I'm all you're expecting of me. You will be. We'll see to that. Bob, come over here. Sit down with me. There's some things I want to discuss with you. Come on, Lester. We'll talk this matter over the bar. Yeah, I'll get Cole down to the expense to give me a two-column spread. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I know. Oh, you're terrific. Yes, sir. Bob Jordan and his Cinderella Orchestra. Some publicist agent I am. Sorry it isn't you, Bonnie, but I have a job to do, you know. I'm not interested in what a great press agent you are. Well, gotta be going. Get down to the Express. Combs is gonna give me that two-column spread. They were her orders. I had to let you go. My band was doing swell here. We were packing them in. She wants him. And what she wants, she gets. Well, she's welcome to him in his one song. That'll be all he'll ever write. When it all dies down, you'll be in here again. You'll get your cut every week, Mac. You know that. Well, I'm all ready now, Mama T. I declare, honey, you sure look lovely. Oh, you look nice, don't <laughs> honey. All right, now. We'll pick up the men, and then we'll be off. Oh, you look lovely. I know they must be tired of waiting. History will someday prove that I am correct. And I'll bet $10 that history will prove that I'm correct. You both are wrong. I decided it was for the divine. Shame on you. Shame on you. Why, that's the bottle I keep for my misery. Now get up. Get up and get along, all of you. Get along. Okay. Okay. But I'll have to bring it out of the